first real hardcore show I ever saw was the first Leeway and Bad Brain show at the Ritz. Because I'm a little late to the party. You know what I mean? I started playing guitar like in 85, 86, you know? So the first hardcore show I saw, I, I, and I saw both. Saw Leeway and Bad Brains, and then I saw Leeway and Bad Brains again, like in 89 on that, I think it was the Quickness Tour. Definitely CBs, obviously, because I got to go to tons of those Sunday matinee shows. Another club that I missed the most was a Jersey club called the China Club. It was like the first club we ever played at, and the old Studio One in Newark, which was like fantastic. And definitely miss the old Lamore. One of the greatest shows I ever got, like the privilege and the opportunity to play was that it was like the week that the Warren EP came out, and it was Clutch, Doggy Dog, Biohazard, Onyx at the at the Academy Theater. I've said it before, like I, I just had no idea what to expect, other than they told us you're going to go on second, and we were like. Oh, 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 no, no, we'll go on first. And they're like, no, 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 you're gonna go on, you know. And it was that week that the EP just came out. We had no idea like what was about to happen. It was just off the hook. The old Academy had the curtain and I could hear like, you know, and my, I was like getting my guitar sound. I played something and I heard like just the ruckus going on. And then when the curtain, no, I was like shocked, you know. And it was like probably the coolest show I've ever played you know like for me personally it was just the moment I was like wow this is this you know maybe this shit is pretty good you know show I wish I saw the most was Randy Rhodes playing with Ozzy Osbourne because I learned how to play guitar to Sabbath and Ozzy like right when Blizzard of Oz and then Diary of a Madman that's how I learned how to play guitar it was like just learning all the rhythms you know, to those, but I never saw Randy Rhodes play with Ozzy, and I never saw Cliff Burton play with Metallica. I wish I would've saw that. Absolutely wish I saw the original Chrome Eggs play. I mean, I was just a little late, you know what I mean? I had the album too, it was probably the second hardcore album I ever got was, was the Chrome Eggs album, but I never saw the original lineup play. Definitely Tony Iommi and Randy Rhodes because that's what I learned how to play guitar. And I realized pretty quick, like, man, I do not want to play solos. I do not want, you know, I am a rhythm guitar player. So the rhythm of Black Sabbath really taught you, like, how to play in that groove. Um, and in terms of, like, hardcore bands, I mean, when I first heard the first Chrome Eggs album, I was like, wow, this is unbelievable. And then when I heard Born to Expire, that was it. And, and it's not just me, like, AJ, his style of playing and writing influenced people that don't want to admit it. He influenced everybody, man. That picking style was just, you know, and completely influenced me. Uh, Mackie, obviously, no doubt about it. He's done everything, every which way. Danny Schuler. You know, not underrated because I think everybody knows how great he is. Luke playing with Wisdom and Chains right now is unbelievable. Plays with Stigma, incredible fucking drummer. Tony that played drums on the Born to Expire album, incredible. Uh, you know, I've played with John Milnes for so many years. I have to have to say he is just incredible drummer, and he has a different style. He's really not a hardcore drummer. He's a thrash influenced jazz drummer, but. Um, incredible, incredible drummer. I mean, Regulate's not really a new band, but to me, phenomenal. Like, just the balls. Sebastian's incredible. I just love every riff of every song. Has purpose. To me, it's a great new hardcore band. In Jersey, there's a place called Um Um in Englewood, which is just fucking incredible. I mean, I know, I don't think city pizza's that good. I know pizza in the Bronx and Brooklyn, you can get great pizza, Staten Island, but uh, in Jersey, there's a couple, and in Jersey, they're like a, more like she-she type pizza joints, but if you want like incredible 
from scratch. You know, Brooklyn Pizza has like two pizzerias in Jersey, which is a totally different taste, outstanding. Um, but I would have to say that Um Um Pizza is in Englewood, right off Route 4, off the bridge, is the best pizza I've had in Jersey. Well, in the hoppers, kings never die. Me and Larry the Hunter. I've only really been a part of starting two bands in my life and raised a family, got the opportunity to, to play with Eddie and write some music with Eddie, which I have 100% enjoyed doing. And about a year ago, I hooked up with Larry the Hunter. Great, like, writing partner, fantastic guitar player. So we have a new band, Kings Never Die. And uh, we're recording the album right now and should be out in about four months. Two things, very simple. Never even try hard drugs, period. Because the younger you are, the sooner you, you experiment with hard drugs, you're fucked. And that's it. And I learned that the hard way, and so many other people have learned that the hard way. Uh, the other thing is, just absolutely be yourself. Like, whether it's musically, whether it's in your life, the, how you wanna talk, what you wanna be, drive yourself.